behalf of Wynn Claybor, Dean and co-founder of Paul Mitchell Schools, Wynn wanted me to let you know that he's here in spirit. Also on behalf of the 13,000 future professionals and staff of over 100 Paul Mitchell schools across the country, uh, including a group here from my very own Paul Mitchell the School Isani. Where my Paul Mitchell the School Isani? I just want to let you know that it is all honor. We are humbled to share this experience with you. I also want to say a huge thank you to the Gary Sinise Foundation. Uh, you guys are making what looks like impossible dreams become tangible realities. It's one thing to say, and I'm proud of the fact, that Paul Mitchell schools over the last five years have raised uh, $585,000 for the Gary Sinise Foundation. And... And what is really cool, we raise it one dollar at a time. We, we're talking about big sales and car washes and fashion shows and princess parties. These guys know what I'm talking about. And we do it with pride. And at an intellectual level, we know that that money goes a long way. But it's a completely different, mind-blowing exhilarating experience when you get to see this the tangible result of all the efforts that, that that we put in four and a half years ago we weren't thinking about a house i was thinking about what my wife and my daughters were going to think when they saw me we weren't thinking about a house we weren't thinking about living in a nice neighborhood on a golf course it was just being thankful for the next second for the next second for the second after that and being thankful for things brings more things to be thankful for. I don't know how it works, it just does. When I didn't want to continue to try, and when I didn't want to continue to be strong, and when I didn't want to continue to try to be better tomorrow or the day after that, it was, it was those three ladies right there that helped me want to be better. I couldn't quit, I couldn't give up. I had people counting on me. We have a responsibility as veterans that when, when we're done with our official service, that we pick up our, our community service right here at home. Command Sergeant Major Lopez told me this one time. He said, when you get somewhere, you never stop building. You always continue to build on something. Today shouldn't look like yesterday. Today is, is great, but tomorrow you should have something much, much better. And the day after that, continue to build. This moment uh, wasn't just a moment just for us four individuals. It wasn't. The Gary Sinise Foundation allowed us to do something that we had never thought about doing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for welcoming our family. Thank you guys so, so much for being a part of this moment.